Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Starting off with business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. As mortgage rates go up, Las Vegas' housing market takes a pause. But not for long. The average 30-year home loan rose to 4.17% last month, according to Freddie Mac. Buyers' quotes took a pause for about a week. But looking at the bigger picture, an overall slowdown didn't happen, according to Las Vegas Realtors. In March, the median price for a previously owned home jumped by $10,000 to a record $460,000. That's almost $100,000 more than last year. Condo and townhome prices also jumped quite a bit. Also soaring, hotel room rates in April. Some Vegas resorts are reportedly asking for more than $1,000 per night. Analysts aren't surprised. With K-pop idols BTS in town, the National Association of Broadcasters trade show, and the NFL draft. The average room rate during the BTS concerts is $476. The broadcasters trade show, $338. And the NFL draft, $403. In more top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Behind the allure of Formula One returning to Vegas, a high-stakes legal fight is unfolding. Review Journal's Renee Semerauer has more on the courtroom drama. Renee? Jen, organizers have to deal with the legal dispute that pits a Miami tech entrepreneur with ties to the Strip against a Formula One and the mega media and entertainment company that owns it. Caught in the middle of the litigation are the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority and its advertising firm r and &R. There are explosive allegations from both the tech businessman Farid Shidfire, who is suing Liberty Media. And they formed a company called P2M Motorsports to do the promotions. On the other side, you have a giant media and entertainment company called Liberty Media. And they bought Formula One in the middle of this effort by B2M Motorsports. And they don't recognize that agreement. And so you have both sides in court suing each other. The LVCVA and r, &R partners filed court papers last year seeking to intervene in the lawsuit and get the court order invalidating the agreements. The agencies allege they learned P2M Motorsports was not the official promoter and that the company signed them under false pretenses. No word yet on how this will affect next year's race. Jen? And the man accused of killing his girlfriend's four-year-old son makes another court appearance. Brandon Toslin was indicted on 10 charges, including murder, child abuse, and kidnapping. He's accused of killing little Mason Dominguez, whose body was found in February in a freezer. And it's a rare move, but not unheard of. The lieutenant governor is going back to school to work as a sub. Lisa Cano Burkhead is a former high school teacher and principal. She's returning to Chaparral High School to serve on a fill-in basis. And I know that we've had a shortage of subs. And in fact, in conversations that I had today with the students that I had the privilege of subbing for, uh, that was the first thing that came to the top of the list, that they, they, they need teachers in the classroom. New Mexico's governor did the same thing amid staffing shortages earlier this year. As for Burkhead and why she chose Chaparral, she graduated from there in 1989. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff has previously made it clear that she is not a fan of Las Vegas, especially after the Raiders relocated to town and the Athletics are on the verge of following suit. On Wednesday, during an interview with a Bay Area TV station, Schaff took the name calling to a new level. Mayor Schaff was added to get a name calling with Las Vegas, um, comparing Vegas and the Bay Area, calling it precious up there and the Las Vegas desert gross. She's, you know, turned to these tactics before. It seems like um, when she kind of gets some good news out of Vegas, she resorts to name calling. Similar pattern, what she'd done before, um, trying to keep their last remaining professional sports team there. And I guess name calling is the way she's going to go about doing that. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. If the NHL playoffs started today, the Golden Knights would miss them. Caesar Sportsbook has posted a prop on the Knights to make the playoffs. No is a minus 165 favorite and yes is a plus 145 underdog. With 10 games remaining in the regular season, the Knights are a point out of the wild card playoff spot. They're still tied for the 12 to 1 fifth pick at the Westgate Superbook to win the Western Conference and they're tied for the 25 to 1 12th choice to win the Stanley Cup.
Now to Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. After a sunny spring day, a pleasant night with temps still in the 80s set to sink into the 70s in the next hour, then the 60s by midnight. On to your Friday, we're set to hit the 90s again through Saturday. On Sunday, a cool down with clouds coming through. On Monday, you can expect gusts around 25 miles per hour and light rain. The precip and winds are set to linger through Tuesday as the temps dip further. The National Weather Service calls it a roller coaster of a week, temperature wise. And lifestyle. All four of BTS concerts are technically sold out, but you can still go see the K-pop idols. And for not as much as you might think. Review Journal's Jason Bracelin explains. Now, once those tickets first started hitting the secondary market, they were pretty pricey. A lot of them started at around $600 and went up to $6,000. But while demand for the tickets are strong, they're not quite that strong. And in recent weeks, they've really kind of gone down quite a bit on the secondary market. So if you're looking to see, you know, one of the four shows at this point, it looks like you can get in the door for around $100 at one of the secondary retailers like StubHub or, or a local uh, retailer like LasVegasTickets.com. In entertainment, speaking of BTS, their hit songs like Dynamite and Butter are joining the likes of Frank Sinatra, Celine Dion, and Tiesto. Review Journal's John Katsimidis tells us where. BTS, it's the Bellagio Fountains, it's the Las Vegas Strip as the boy band phenomenon out of South Korea is going to have their music featured in the Bellagio Fountains Water Show beginning this weekend. The show coincides with their two performances at Allegiant Stadium this weekend and the two other performances next weekend, viewing parties at MGM Grand Garden. BTS is a worldwide phenomenon and they're going to live on in perpetuity at the Bellagio Fountain Show. In health, did you know that April is Stress Awareness Month? A Wallet Hub study shows Nevada is the second most stressed state in America. One reason why? The Silver State has the nation's highest divorce rate. Louisiana came first, followed by Nevada, New Mexico, West Virginia, then Mississippi. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. Hopefully, you have a stress free night. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News, streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.